What's good, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Happy New Year to everybody as well. Hope everybody is good, safe, and good spirits and ready to tackle on the new year. Today, as we tackle on the new year, we're continuing the mission of Community Voices and Empowerment and getting involved with the communities. And we're doing that for the first uh, time this year with the star NBA uh, from the Philadelphia 76ers, Robert Covington. How are you doing, man? Thanks for joining us this new year. Thank you for having me, man. It's been a, it's a great pleasure. Of course, man. I appreciate it. you brought in the New Year's all good. Everything. How, how you feeling locked in for 2024? Man, more than ever. You know, 2023 was a, a year. 2024 going to be so much better. I love it. I received it and I love it. I love that. So I want to go ahead and get into things. I know you're also a busy man, so I want to respect your time. Um, you're currently in the midst of the your second stint with the 76ers. Um, mm-hmm. I would love for you to kind of speak to what this journey has taught you. Um, not just like, you know, physically as a skill, but also mentally. Um, Cause those, I know there's certain things that kind of have to occur for you to fully know and believe in your ability to perform. What has this journey so far taught you in this moment? Uh, I mean, this ain't, this journey that I've been on ain't nothing that I haven't experienced. Um, mm-hmm. And my life has been about many trials, tribulations, overcoming obstacles and succeeding at that, um, you know, just time and time again. You know, from the basically since the time that I basically started playing in, you know, many different obstacles in life. Um, like I just been thankful that, you know, without with everything that has transpired, you know, that I've stayed resilient enough and stayed strong enough through everything that I didn't allow nothing away from me. Do you feel like I'm I'm curious in that too? Do you feel like there's anything whether it be during this moment or in your first stint, but in more, more so in the second stint, has there been anything that you've like learned about yourself that like really kind of gave you a new perspective or appreciation with your approach to life, like going forward? Is there anything you've learned about yourself in that in that way to change that? Uh, being a father, uh, mm. that's been one of the biggest things. Um, you know, I've been thankful that I have a beautiful little girl um, that I get to watch and grow up in an amazing amazing you know life uh and just watching her her joy and everything every day is 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 beautiful for me and you know i'm thankful that at the end of the day that i can be the example that she needs you know to grow up in this life to understand what true love is and you know the what what to um expect what to expect and um and everything so you know, I'm just, like I said, that's just the main focus for me is, you know, that's that's been the biggest thing that's helped me through everything. I love that because it's such a such a big shift in life, too. You know, you, I mean, your title literally changes. You go from being just you or whichever it is to being a full-blown, like, dad, <laughs> real dad, just, too. I'm not just worried about myself. You know, now I have a precious little one to look after. And, you know, that makes it that much more better. Oh, yeah. 100%. I love that. Congrats as well. Congrats. Thanks. Um, you know, uh, so I want to talk too about like I know you said you face a lot of trials and tribulations, and I I bring that up because I think that also speaks to what I believe is really important. And that's kind of like the company you keep and like the circle that's around you. Make sure that you have you know when when you're not able to stand that the circles that lift you up, or you have people who can support you to get you back up even faster. Um, I know that uh, Minnesota coach Ryan Saunders was one of those people for you. What's been the most valuable thing that you kind of learned from that friendship? Uh, one of the most valuable things that I learned was, um, that no matter what you're faced with, because we're all going to be hit with something time and time again, you know, life is going to need to throw, try throw things at us. It's about how we process it and how we respond to it. Um, you know, he gave me this book that I've, that stuck me. I still have, it's a 365 day devotional, um, that he gave me. And it's something that and I, I list I look at every day um and you know I'm about to bring it back out um this year um I took I took a a little break from it um just when the last year when I was going through a lot um I stopped reading as much but then once I got back into my routine and my rhythm it was like I don't want to start I don't want to start you know in the middle I want to start with the fresh beginning so now Mm -hmm. now that it's new year you know, I'm going to get back into, you know, doing what I was doing. Because, like I said, I strayed away from, you know, things because my focus was elsewhere. Um, sure. But now that the new year is here, man, and, 
you know, I've overcome so much within the last year that, you know, it's taught me a lot more about patience and understanding. Um, it's helped me in so many different ways. And, you know, a lot of my friends and my family just, you know, applaud me for how I stay resilient through the stuff that has happened. Um, and, you know, give me my, my praise, you know, because they like me. I understand how you would have been, you, you keep your cool throughout all this when, you know, you got every reason to, you know, lose your, lose your mind through it. So, yeah. you know, they, they've applauded me, you know, with my patience and, you know, the way that I just handle everything. And I always have this, this demeanor about myself that I, you know, no matter what, everything's going to be all right. And even though like, it might not be right now, all right, right now in the moment and things might be going against you. Like, you know, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. You know, I, I've played the long game and life is a long game. So mm -hmm. that's what happens when we don't, um, when we don't trust him and we don't put faith in him to, you know, guide us down the right path and stay religion in the, in the journey, just, just staying patient in the journey. And no matter what, like you know, I, I posted a, a video on Instagram, um, with somebody doing a little skit, mm -hmm. basically, um, it was with this guy playing, playing like, you know, him and God. And he had broke something and he asked God to fix it. And, you know, God's having a conversation with him. And he's like, well, I understand all that, but are you going to fix it? Like, you know, right now, <laughs> like it's not, you know, it's not on your time when he's going to fix things. It's when right. he right. deserves, when he thinks you deserve to have it in that moment and you're going to truly value and appreciate it. I love that. I've, I've been saying, I, I ended up last year and I'm bringing this into this year's. I just keep reminding myself that like um, everything's in my favor. So good and bad, everything is in my favor, whether I see it or not. So I, I love no that what, kind of mindset. No matter what, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, it's all gonna work out. You know, he he take he take care of those that believe in him fully. And you know, yeah, you're gonna go up and down, so your faith is gonna be tested, but how disciplined are you to really trust him? Exactly. I love that. And I think that kind of actually transitions to this next piece. I know part of community voices, and I know part of it is giving back and making sure that we kind of, you know, you do what we can to restore that faith in people or to help those resources that like bring so much enjoyment or faith or like just bring something back to the community. And I know we'll be doing that through uh, the foundation that you chose, Electric to Failure. We'll be donating 5K to them uh, to just help with their mission. Um, for those who don't know about Electric to Failure, uh, it provides underserved youth and families in need of with food and security support, free youth basketball camps in Chicago and Nashville, uh, back to school backpacks and supply drives and a 500 toy giveaway and shopping spree events for families in need. Some of the some things are just so crucial and very important for the community to help them thrive and just to, you know, have an impact in these kids lives and these families lives, which is so crucial and so important. Um, I would love if you don't mind just kind of speaking to, you know, individually to the foundation's mission and just how that mission speaks specifically to you, you believe. Uh, it's because, you know, my, my upbringing, um, you know, my parents always taught me about, you know, making your imprint on people's lives. Mm -hmm. And both of my parents have, you know, touched so many people's lives as far as kids that, you know, they've mentored and, you know, they've been around and friends and family, you know, just, you know, I came from that family dynamic, you know, it, it would take a village to raise, you know, one person. And, Facts. Uh, you know, my parents, you know, did a great job. My my dad, you know, was our football coach, my football coach. Um, he's my brother's football coach. Uh, you know, he did a lot within the community as far as, you know, coaching for free, you know, at the Pop Warner teams, my mom's team mom. Like, they were heavily involved in our lives and, you know, other kids' lives and just the impact that they had. They were there for so many different people. And so, you know, my parents always taught me about giving back in some way. You know, with it's, whether it's your time, resources, whatever it may be that can help benefit people. And, you know, they always do little things like, you know, wildcat tournaments that we have back home. Like my parents volunteer to help out. Like it's just that dynamic that I learned. And, you know, it's it's always you never know who you're going to touch. Um, right. You never know that one moment. Um, and I've had many encounters with kids that basically have told me that these these things that I've done has, you know, done significant ones for them, their family, for their spirits, you know, because they might be dealing with something. And I had one kid tell, them, tell me that I saved their life, you know. I, I, so, you know, you never know who could be dealing with something at some moment. And, 
you know, it never, I never take those moments for granted. Um, I've always been, you know, said that I would leave my imprint on the community one way or the other. And I've been that blessed to be able to do that in so many significant ways. I love that. And I, and I think it kind of speaks to, you said somebody's always watching, like, you know, just yeah. wherever you go, somebody's watching what you do, whether that's on the court, whether that's in the community, whether that's at your local grocery store, whatever it is. So it, it is, it's beautiful to hear that you have that that same it doesn't change when the when the clock ends you know what i mean it continues to go uh, on and it's so important it, that, this is that's me at, at my truest form um you know i I've, my main thing is that how can i make an impact and mm-hmm. i want to it's not something that i'll just do for just because like no it's because that's who i am you know my mantra is always to give back and that's part of what my what my my foundation is what my you know, my mantra is, you know, allergic to failure is not just my foundation. Like, that's like my lifestyle. Like, that's the way that I live because no matter what I've been faced with, like, I've overcame every single obstacle. You know, it's some stuff that has literally been here to make me fail, but I've not overcame, I've, I've not let it get to me. I've overcame it, you know, so that's part of why I, I have, that is my mantra, you know, and I started that at 17 years old. Like, that's just been something that, you know, has been with me because, you know, from basketball to school, like people always say, oh, you're not going to be this, you're not going to be that, you're not going to do this, you're not going to do that, you ain't got the gifts to that, you ain't got the time to do this. Okay? okay. I've been one that literally have not listened to none of that. Like, I've just allowed me, myself, and, and I had a great support system behind me to really help me, like, strive through all of that. Because if I didn't have the support system I had, then, yeah, maybe some of that could potentially happen and could potentially you know, creep in, but because of the people that I have around me and that believe in me, that have been here through me and seen me overcome so much, never let me get to that point. I love that. I think there's so much to, there's so much to take away from what you just said. So I want that moment breathe for itself too. There's so much to take away from that. Um, I want to ask you one more question before we get ready to wrap things up because, you know, we're talking about impact. Um, I think, how do I want to word this? For 2024, when you talk about going into this new year, I know you said you want to get back into the, to the, the devotional, 365 devotional, start fresh. Um, you know, we're going into it, you know, the new the newlyhood of fatherhood as well. Um, and this is the continuous growth that we're always trying to have every year, every day, mm-hmm. every month. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be three. It could be one. If you have three, give them. But what are some goals for you this year that you want to accomplish for yourself? It doesn't have to be strictly to on court. It could just be in life in, in general. It's never. It's never on court because on court, I'm going to be who I am. Um, mm. Everything is, is off the court. How do I impact those that look up to me mm. even more than I, I've been doing? You know, people have never seen me in this life. You know, the, the version of myself where I got a different level of understanding. I got a different level of patience. I got a different level of happiness. Mm. In general, um, my daughter feels it. My family feels it. People that are close to me feels it. So the people that aren't as close to me, how do I make them feel? How do I be able to spread that joy? How do I be able to spread that love and that happiness and like reach out to those? Using my platform more than what I have before. And it's something that, like I said, is, everything comes around tenfold. Now that I'm back in Philly, um that's something that like I talked about you know previously but it was always something that was lingering you know one obstacle hit another obstacle came overcame that another obstacle came now and now I'm getting settled here in Philly you know it's just now how do I get everything right that's why I'm building people around me to really help me you know navigate through all of this because like I said it takes a village to help raise one one person and you know, my community is is the people that I need the most. And mm-hmm. I'm going to share these moments with them because that's the, the amount of joy that they have that I love to see them have. So for me, at the end of the day is, how can I be more impactful? You know, as basketball, I'm going to do, I'm going to be who I am. Like there's no, nothing that I'm, I'm, I'm going to really change about that. Like I'm gonna give it my all no matter what, and people won't never gonna have to question it. <laughs> right. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do my job and I'm gonna do it to the best. Now off the court, how can I do more? 
that's what my biggest thing is. How can I impact those that are ahead of me, like behind me? And how can I touch the lives? And, you know, not only that, but set up my future because, like I said, I got maybe five more years in me, you know, five five, five more, five or six years of playing in me. And, you know, I'm going I'm going to go till I can't, like, fully, and that's no time. So, <laughs> so um, within that time frame, how do I make my presence more felt mm. off the court? Because once that ball stops bouncing, them calls ain't going to come, start coming. Them calls ain't going to keep coming like they was before. Mm. How can I set myself up and my kids, my wife, my future wife, um, how can I set them up for their futures and, you know, make sure that the rest of this life is still fulfilled the way that God has prepared for me. So, well, listen, man, I, I it sounds like you have a strong, solid, sturdy, like approach, headset, mindset, and faith to accomplish everything that you just mentioned for 2024 and for the next years to follow, not even just this mm-hmm. year, but thinking next year. So it, it definitely sounds like you're on the right trajectory, your path to do it. And, and I think that is that is absolutely beautiful and amazing work, man. Man, it's a listen. If you understood how much work it took me, how much sleepless nights, uh, nights of crying, nights of pain, nights of feeling like not understanding what's going on or no clear conscious answer, it can it can break you if you literally if you don't have the faith, it can break you. And oh, for sure. I literally, at one point, I almost broke. But then I had sat down with my mom. I sat down with my family. And we had a conversation. And nobody's ever seen me fall like that. Nobody mm-hmm. ever seen Nobody was never going to let me fall like that. And it was many times where I, I was frustrated. Everything didn't understand and have a clear idea of what was going on, like why it was happening. But then... You know, it took a conversation with one of my friends and she told me that you've overcome so much in life and no matter what, you're going to continue to overcome. You can't let one moment waver you. Mm-hmm. You can't let one moment waver you because you're going to keep getting hit with moments and you're one of the strongest people I've ever met. You're one of the strongest people I've ever met and I look up to you so much and you just have no idea how much you do for me. And I never tell you this, but I'm proud of you. This is coming from somebody that, like, literally, that's one of my good friends. Right. Like, I don't tell you, you know, too much because I just sit back and I watch. Mm. I sit back and I that's watch you. Point. I'm always watching. So I just want to tell you, like, within this moment right now, I know it's hard, but you got this. You got this, and God got you covered no matter what. No matter what. And that's why the relevance of that video makes me give it gives me that much more peace of mind because that was something that was very relevant for me because my because of my friend had that same moment with me. And I went and I went to uh I went to have that that specific moment and I it, it resonated with me. So it's like no matter what, that's when I put off all doubt, all fear. I went 10 toes down and I kept kept the train moving full forward and put my head down. I worked. I did what I had to do and I took care of business. And at the end of the day, I ended up getting what I need to get. And, you know, life happened. And, and I've been so much and more at peace now that, you know, the first phase of everything has happened. So... I've just been happier than I've, I've ever been. And, you know, my family feels it. My daughter feels it. You know, people that are closest to me, they see it, they feel it. And I'm able to be the person that I, I said I wanted to be. And I'm going to continue to walk in there and I believe in that now. Like, I really, because as I have this on me tatted, as I have it tucked, Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Mm. And that's a true statement because I've been hit time and time again with so many different ways, so many different ways. And I've never let any wound, nothing. It might have stung a little bit for a while, 
but I've never let it waver me from you know turning my turning turning myself around and going back the other way. I've always kept pushing forward, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. You know, because there's life; it ain't gonna be easy. And whatever cards you dealt with, you gotta learn how to play with that hand. Hmm. You gotta adjust as life goes on. Because guess what? Oh. Your plan, your plan, what you have, and what God plan got for you. He's going to show you exactly where you need to go and where you need to be. You might want to be here, but he got something better for you over here. Yeah. Man, listen, man, I, I don't even want to say nothing after that. That's the perfect way to end this, man. I love it. Still standing, still going. If there's, if there's, if you don't listen to anything today and take away something from that, this message, this, this whole conversation today should get you geared up for tomorrow. So thank you so much, man, for joining us today. And thank you for just sharing all that. Um, I really appreciate you. Best of luck, as always, going into the season. And just as you continue going on your, on your journey, man, like I, like I said, what I said earlier, I mean that. I double down on that. I can definitely feel that energy and that spirit coming from yeah. you. Really, appreciate it, man. You know, always prayers from my side over here as well. So appreciate thank you again it. for joining us for another episode of Community Voices, y'all. Take care. Peace out. Cool. And that's it, man. And I, I know I was in that, like, doing the C thing, but I mean that, bro. I, I, as somebody who who trusts God, I have my relationship with God, I I feel it from you, bro. I can tell mm -hmm. that God has you on a journey right now, and you are claiming it, ready, armored up. Ready Embraced it. Like I, 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 like I said, I fought with it for a little minute, like, didn't understand why, how things are going. But once I stopped doubting Mm -hmm. everything just started unfolding every page started to turn in the direction that it was supposed to turn instead of going doing this back and forth now, that, bro, and that faith you're, as long as your faith continues to grow and that, that's because really what that's what it is it's like we go through these things, it's like how much do you have faith that i'll take care of you if something else happens how much do you trust that i will take you to how much you trust and it's all that's why I, that's why it's like i don't question what's going on i said let things happen the way it's supposed to happen. If it doesn't, that means it wasn't supposed to happen that way. And there was something else that was supposed to happen to, for this to out, for this outcome to happen. And that's why I, I literally, everything has literally broke, went down and handed it that exact way. Mm. That's a testament. Like I said, you just, you just I, gave me my good testament for work today, man. I appreciate you. Man, so I appreciate you, brother. Of course, man. You. Listen, I'll talk to you. Take take care. If you need anything, let us know, man. And thank you again, bro. Man, I appreciate you, baby. I'll talk to you later.